Good morning guys, happy Monday. It is a fabulous Monday. I felt like after that weekend of relaxing and shopping, I just feel refreshed and renewed and ready to start the week. And it's gonna be a busy, a busy week. First off, messy boy I changed his food so it's cat food now and watch what he says about the cat food oh he ate it that time <laughs> oh did you guys just see that how he poops now isn't he frustrating oops flies out of him yeah, like you do not want to be in shooting distance when this guy decides he's got to go. And it's a lot. He goes a lot. Yeah, he, he's. I cleaned his nest this morning, but he is messy. So don't get it in there the right way. He spits it out. Oh. I think it's just that I'm not getting it in. No, I get it in. And you shove it down his throat and he goes. And he spits it, whoops. And he spits it back out. Okay. Do you like the cat food or do you hate it? See, I need to change his bed. But he's such a, he's so cute. He's such a spoiled bird he's that I have to put a blanket in with him and he cuddles up to the blanket. I mentioned that we are starting a new upload schedule um, in yesterday's video and we are. And I'm shooting a couple of videos today, but of course it's dark and dreary. Just when I need the sun and the light, it's dark and dreary. But we're in a crisis. What's the crisis? We lost my book. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, could you say that a little louder? We lost my book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who lost your book? Mom. <laughs> I left it right here where it always is. And Mom. Okay, so that is not where books belong at our house. I always encourage them to put their stuff away. Doesn't always happen, uh, but yeah. I did not touch the book. Maybe I touched the book. Oh my God, you did. I saw you. I probably did. And that's what's so funny is that most moms are like, I did not, this is not my fault, this is your fault if you lost your book, but usually it's my fault. But then I say the thing that all moms say, if I find that book, then you're in big trouble, Missy, but uh, yeah, hopefully she finds it. Hippie's going to eat you. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> okay, yum, 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 you find your book. Oh my gosh. Go, you guys cannot see. No, I'm not joking. Go, I'm not joking. Girls, girls, there's a package that's not wrapped. Go, go. I only saw the top where the tag is. Like, What did you see? Oh no, I just saw a cardboard box with like a tag on it. Sophie, are you, no. Oh my gosh, I can't even carry it. Wow, it could be. Okay, Gabby, Gabby. Okay, so we got to, wait, 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 wait. We got something in the mail today and it's supposed to be a surprise, but the girls are freaking out and I can't carry it because it's so hard, so heavy. So uh, Sam and I got Sam here on my phone. Sam, say hi. Hello. Just gonna open it, three, two, one. No, I didn't open it! Yes! Yes! It says caution heavy, Mom. <laughs> it's so heavy. Okay, turn it upside down. So I don't, so this is what it is. Big summer fun. Yeah, put it that way. <gasps> it's a huge, it's a mega sized magical it's unicorn. Wings. Mega sized magical unicorn island. It is a massive boat. If you guys can see, those are all adults on that thing. Look at the size of the head compared to the lake. I know. It is huge. <laughs> over it's nine a, feet over tall. Over nine feet. Yeah, so it's taller than dad. <laughs> Just like you, you are crazy. <laughs> anyway, the, coming up in a future video is a big summer of fun <laughs> magic unicorn. Ages 14 and up. Ages 14 and up, yeah. It's gonna be insane. And we're not 14 and up. Why are they making a unicorn if it's for ages 14 and up? I know. So many of you guys have been asking for a bunny update and we are gonna do it right now. Gabby got her new comforter. 
On her bed? How do you like it? It's good. I wish we had got the it? same kind for Sophie. Sophie's is just a, a comforter, no pillows. <laughs> Do you guys smell the stink? Do you smell the stink? <laughs> Do you smell the stink of the bunnies? You don't smell the stink of the bunnies because as hard as it is for me to say this, what happened to our bunnies? They died. <laughs> they died. <laughs> they died. We got rid of them. They yeah, died. they did not die. They did not die. You guys know how much I struggled with the smell and the cleaning. It was just a bad idea from the start. I didn't realize how huge the bunnies were and how, how huge. Wow. Yeah, they we were had huge. bunnies before. Mm hmm. But outside bunnies. We never had inside bunnies. And we looked it up because we thought we could maybe move them outside. And it's illegal in our city to have bunnies outside. So we couldn't do that. And. I really struggled with it and is as disappointed as you guys are that we got bunnies and then rehomed them. I'm just as disappointed in myself. So um, it'll be a long time before I ever do that again. Um, uh, if we get a farm, then possibly that could happen, but I think I'm still way affected by the whole thing. So I don't even know if that would, if we would get more. Here comes the mermaid, Gabby. If you guys don't know, she got this <laughs> mermaid blanket yesterday. She's got her tail. We should do a mermaid video. <laughs> I'm still in the process well, because, like, of cleaning out I our room. When I swim in this, I have to like, when I swim in this, I'm going to put the belt on. You're going to swim in it? Did it came with the belt? Yep. Did it come, it came with the belt? Okay, so, keep so back to our bunny update. Oh my gosh, here comes another mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> She is such a graceful mermaid, you guys. Like, <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So back to the bunny update. So uh, basically, we rehomed them. We found a farm for them, a farm that specializes in bunnies. I gave the girls the option. I said, you know, uh, the smell and the cleaning was so overwhelming that I was starting to get depressed from it, and I was starting to avoid the room, avoid the area, avoid even talking about it avoid because my room. It was just so frustrating and hard for me. And um, I said to the girls, you know, I'm gonna rehome my bunny, and it's your choice if you want to keep your bunny because um, you just have to be responsible for keeping it clean. I, I gave them the option and Gabby felt that because her bunny and my bunny were bonded that they needed to be together, right? Yeah. Right? And Sophie said, absolutely not. I'm not rehoming my bunny. Didn't she say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's the lover. She's the big softy in our family. And um, so uh, she decided not to rehome her bunny and then when she saw where our bunnies were going she thought about it and she decided that they'd be together and it, that she really liked where they were going to this big huge farm and so she decided to rehome her bunny at the last minute didn't you mm -hmm. was it yeah. your choice yep yeah and have you been sad no no, no it has never it has not been a sad thing it was sad <laughs> for the first <laughs> No regrets. Hashtag no regrets, but I have a lot of regrets. I regret getting them. I regret regret loving them. And Hashtag no regrets. I have regrets. But anyway. Hashtag Laura has regrets. Hashtag Laura has regrets. And Laura is sorry that I did all that for them because it just was hard. It was hard for a couple of days, but knowing where they are and seeing where they are was a lot better for me. It was just a lot better knowing that they're going to be more in a more natural state and... Yeah, so that happened, and that's our bunny update, and go ahead, bash me in the comments. I deserve it. I get it. I know. I understand. Right? You should. Meh. Oh, regret! Oh, regret! <laughs> okay, and don't bash them, because they're saying no regrets, because it was all my decision, and it was just a weight off of everybody's shoulder, because it was so much work and so hard for us. Like, we were not prepared, and yeah, so that happened, and yeah. The pets I'm the best with are fake ones like fake unicorns like this big guy or really super temporary guests pets that are only going to last for a short time mom mom this is what us mermaids do to get down the stairs all right mermaids coming down the stairs It looks like a mermaid. We're headed to the barn, but before we go, I want to show you how spoiled our bird is. So basically he has a little nest, and I keep a towel in there just because he likes something soft, and this is what I just found. So basically he has crawled up. His nest is way down here, like way down here, way down here, and he's crawled all the way up 
to cuddle into the nice soft blanket. He's got no place to put his feet. There you go. And then he has all that hay to cuddle in. But yeah, isn't that so funny? Just, like, look at how big his tank is. Like, yeah, like so he has this huge tank. But look, yeah. But he, he has to be on the blanket. He has to be on the blanket. All cuddled into the blanket. <laughs> He's so cute. We <laughs> have yeah, found a horse for Sophia. I think we found a horse for Sophia. It's a Belgian quarter horse cross, so it's short, which a lot of you guys wanted to have a short horse. It's 15 hands high, but it's really broad, like a Belgian, and I could ride it. Even though it's a bit short for me, I could probably ride it. So it kills two birds with one sto stone. We have to travel to go see her. We're gonna go tomorrow morning. The problem is that there, we're gonna go, well, as you're watching this, we're gonna be driving there, hopefully. The problem is that somebody else is coming to see it tonight and they want it for Pony Club. So uh, I'm crossing my fingers and crossing my toes and praying my hardest because I feel like it could be the right one and it's already a hunter. I swear, I feel it so strong that those Pony Club people are gonna buy our horse. Ugh, it's just frustrating, but you know how you can see ahead. You need to be the first one. And you can just like tell. Like Storm. Yeah. We were, like, we were like the first people to go see Storm, I think. Yeah. We got well, uh, other people went first, but um, they booked it a different day. Yeah. And we booked it like the day after. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Love that horse. He's got the best disposition. Who, Ben? Yeah. Come on, I don't know what you're eating there. Grass. No, there's a bunch of stuff there. No, Bye, beautiful Ben. You guys, did you guys hear Sabrina? She's in there calling. She's like, Storm, Storm! My lost love! Storm. Where yeah. are you? Makes me sad for when she goes home because she's gonna miss all her friends. Like, she's probably gonna miss us. Oh, can't even talk about that. But she's really gonna miss her friends. Grab him, grab and that's him. super sad to me. Sam's bonding speed. with Storm. Storm's such a nice We're boy. Get Gabby a horse more for speed, like a pony. Yeah, and this will be Dad's this horse. I don't even ride you. I just walk you around. Just make you look pretty and walk you around. He's like, okay, I'll, I'll sign up. Jeez, he's so good. Yeah, he's been taught manners, but I think it's his disposition too. Blue's not for sale, so he's over here grooming Blue. And Blue's like, I want your lemonade. I have a lemonade, and he's like, he's like, give it to me. Hi, Blue, we miss you. We miss you in lessons. But he's so hard to get cane turn. Is he? Yeah, I want to have the one the pony someday. You might get that wish if we can't find you a pony. You might get that wish. No. Aw. He's one. But Blue's saying, I want you to ride me. Yeah. He has two lessons today. Hey. He's like, is that, is that hay? Is that hair hay?
down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. See? So Storm is using the same bit as yesterday and we'll know today if that's a good bit for him or not. I think it is actually. Two point. Aww. Two point. No stirrups. No stirrups. Oh. Bang. Bang, bang. Rise and drop. Oh, rise and drop. No stirrups. Put your reins in your left hand. Put your right hand over your head. Ooh, that's going to be hard. Oh, you're making it look easy, Gabby. There you go. Good job, Gabby. Good job, Gabby.
Come on, Gabby.
Come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabby, straight, straight. Right, this bad parenting at, at its worst, you guys. Go ahead, Gabby. <coughs> so, Dad didn't bribe me to not refuse all the jumps today. Dad did not bribe you. He did <coughs> not say, Gabby, jump the jumps and I'll bribe you. Um, but, but <coughs> I didn't refuse all the jumps today. Which was yeah. Fun. Storm did it on purpose. Yeah, like, Storm refused a couple, but he's learning. Other than that, he was really good. Yeah. Um, probably because I did not want to go over that jump. Yeah, so then what happened? What happened at the end of your lesson? <coughs> Spit it out, sister. Since I didn't refuse any jumps, Dad said, Good job, Gabby. I'll buy you a new saddle pad. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. I don't do that. And when we go shopping now, the girls always go with him because he buys some stuff, whereas I'm like, Nah, no, we don't need it. Don't poop. Please don't poop. <sighs> I have my brand new shoes on. Gabby, you're doing it. Oh, I'm riding you. Let's find a stick. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.